Right, okay, master is on, mixture is rich, fuel pump is on, I'm on the front tank, and it says a quarter, but I know I've got 50 litres in there because I just dipped it, okay? So I will, with the mags turned off, I'll turn it over a couple of times. Clip up! I usually call both this and the live start. I know last week though that I didn't. Well spotted those who commented on this. It was an oversight and what it did show is what these self review videos were all originally filmed for because it wasn't until I was doing the edit that I realised that I'd made the mistake myself. My name is Tim Palmer, I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. This time I haven't got the underwing camera because I don't know that it's worth it because earlier on it was extremely uh, hazy wasn't it? Actually it does look a lot better than it did earlier on. Very, very strange thing growing out of you. Yes, I've already, I have already photographed it. Your, your belly button. Yeah. yeah. I've photographed it so that uh, people could see your puzzled expression later on as to what on earth is that. Uh. You see, the other one that I did last week that a couple of people commented on, I actually had a chest harness, but it was just too cumbersome. So I'm just trying this one. Thank you very much. I have to say, the last twice I've flown, there's been a deer on the runway. And, and there's another two. Yeah, there's two down there now. Yep. Could actually be a third one laying down. Hey, somebody's been busy. I don't know whether Sam's been cutting the strip. Oh, possible. Yeah. It's, you know, it's had the topper over it. Uh, and master is on. I'll be is cold. Mixture is rich. Cabin heater is off. Fuel pump is on. I'm on the front tank. And mag check. It's fine. Double mag. Controls work the way they should do. I'm going to give it just a burst of hot air. Bring it back out. The silver. Yeah. <laughs> Last time I commented. Uh, not mole hills, but mole mountains. <laughs> There's some pretty big ones there. I won't go down the hill after the um, after the deer. Huh. Okay, line up on the trees. That can go in. Everything all right with you? Yep. Nail uh, traffic of the Yaki Echo Hotel is rolling. Nail traffic. There's no chance of me rolling on mine, so uh, uh, three deer. It looks like a mother and two small ones. All oh, right. You better wait till they grow up a bit. Yeah. Not enough meat on them ones, then. <laughs> Hey. So you say this is the first time you've been in the air for some time? A long time. Yeah. Well, I say, it seems... <laughs> yeah. Uh, it seems a, lo a long time, but obviously it's not quite as long as you sort of yeah. think it is. It just says I've got traffic 2,000 feet above. Yeah. The traffic on Charlie Zero downwind to 05 not happening. 
if you had a coming re your way somewhere. It's interesting because it's actually saying it's actually saying it's a G registered. Come on, come back to it. All I see is a blue sky. Yeah. 1,600 feet above. Ah, oh, there it is. On your wicket. What is that? That looks like a hurricane. That looks very much like a hurricane. I bet Matthew's going to beat the airfield up. Yeah. Or is it a Harvard? No, it's not Harvard, is it? It's coming in for us, look. Yeah. Because he might be at Duxford, mightn't he? That's, not, that's only 10 minutes away from him, isn't it? Look, you can see the, you see the yeah. markings. I can't make out if it's a Hurricane or a Spitfire, to be honest. Uh, I think it might be. It looks fairly slim. I would have probably thought Spitfire. Oh, I wish I was in the RV. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sorry about that. You know, this will be... This will be a bit slow motion by comparison. I've lost it now in He's that there. inversion. Oh no, I've got it, yeah. And the four foot traffic. Four day traffic, Cubs, Charlie and Ben Bird joining. Uh, not at all, four day. Martin said earlier on that the uh, airspace was fairly busy. Uh, really? They've been brown for where about that, I'm in my way. Let's have a traffic. Dog Charlie Keeler down the third six to touch and go. Let's have a traffic. I haven't got an idea where I am. Uh, well, we've just... Well, roughly. Yeah, yeah we've come know. over towards Dedham. Yeah, OK. There's that um, scrap um, gun hill yeah. or wherever it is. Guess that uh, haven't been out for ages. Yeah. We're just beginning to get those yellow rate fields coming through. Yeah. Quite a long time, Gold. Here it's just going to run with him. All small, small, one in one in one in Did you want to have a fly or are you no, happy to I'm, just I'm sit quite, there? I'm quite happy just to sit here and. Lick my wounds, as it were. Yeah. Well, it's a shame. I mean, for those people that are watching, we've been. We've been working on the RV again. Um, we're not. We're forgetting the brake problem because that seems to come back about every two weeks. But there's a bit of a, fu a fuel situation, isn't there, at the moment? Yep. Whereas it's been turning over, but it's not coughing. Um, and although every time we try something, we try something new, it doesn't seem to be doing very much. And what's more, it puts a lot of strain on the battery, doesn't it? Uh, um, uh, most of the strain uh, yeah. is on me. Yeah, most of the strain is on you, yeah, true. I was going to say, I wonder how long it will be before I don't spend a lot of time looking at oil pressure. I mean, it's always part of your scan, yeah. but when something happens, you tend to become a little bit more preoccupied, don't you? Oh, yeah. Because as I said in that video, you know, um, yeah, there's a seagull up there, that, you know, it, it had become second nature for me yeah. to, to fly this and enjoy flying it. Isn't that sprayed out? Uh, you know, so ten years ago, yeah. there wasn't a quarter of this. Well, you know, we're coming up now to Stanway. Stanway was its own little village, wasn't it? I mean, it wasn't connected to Colchester. You see, there's that... What was the field behind um, Tollgate there? Right. Do you remember the... Uh, they had that problem with that um, jet provost, didn't they? 
when somebody fell out the injector seat. Oh yes, yes. Because that was into the field, into the field behind that shopping centre. Really? And down yeah. into there, yeah. Well, that's strange. Because I, I, I actually was airborne when that bloke, uh, the, the seat went through the... Yeah. Didn't it? Yeah. Yep. And it's screaming out about him ha having killed his uh, brother. But um, I was in the air at the time, and I went looking for him. If you don't mind taking it just for a second or two, I haven't got the um, underwing camera, but it does look as if the zoo is very, very busy. Because that now is covering more and more space. Oh, that's nice. The nice. Okay. You got it. Yep. Thank you. The nice thing about it is the fact that I think you can actually see that they um, that they do spend money on it. Yeah. Got to come your way ever so slightly. I don't think there's. They'll be using the firing range today, not on Easter Saturday, but possibly. I remember coming over this reservoir at Abberton a couple of years back and, and seeing the water levels really down. Yeah, it varies quite a lot, doesn't it, yeah. actually? I will just turn it round in a moment through sort of 260 degrees. Um, because Abbotton Reservoir here, I believe, was the very first dam that the dam busters practiced on. Oh, possible. Because, because of the shape, um, they were able to come down really low because you hadn't got any hills around. Yeah, quite possible. Um, and I've actually got a photograph taken of the dam busters actually practicing right. not yeah it, it's a still photograph but I'll just run this way just for a moment or two Wing Commander Guy Gibson recorded in his logbook that a full dress rehearsal was carried out at Uppingham and Colchester Reservoir on the night of the 14th of May 1943 and that was two days before Operation Chastise itself if you look back on yourself now oh yeah I see what you're saying Almost like a clover leaf. Yeah. So what they did was they came in from this direction. Yeah. And they ran down the length of the of the reservoir, practicing with that um, searchlights. Yeah. Up a bit. A bit more. Now hold it. What's too much? Now hold it now. Fine! Oh, I didn't know that was so close to home. Yeah. Not that I was born then. No. Don't know what all those trenches are in that field. Um. I think they were for uh, soil samples, weren't they? Don't know. They're all like dug like trenches, haven't they? Yeah. And they're, they're like patterns. But I, I think I, I stand to be corrected. But I think they got permission to dig up for um, and well, not antiques. What's those people that go? What, the treasure hunters? Yeah, yeah. And, and then they do it, and then they move it over and clear but up But I mean, we were, we were very much a Roman area, weren't we? Yeah. Because that, that bendy, meandering river is called Roman River. Right. And there was a, a, a villa on the end of it. And of course, the castle is built on the site of the old temple. because it was attacked by Boudicca. Now, when I was in 
primary school, it was Boadicea. Oh. But Boadicea suddenly became Boudicca. Um, and I, I call her Elsie. <laughs> yeah. And that was the Iceni tribe. One thousand four hundred feet above. I mean, oh, definitely sky. I guarantee you, there'll be sky. If there was nothing else, there'd be sky. Yeah. It seems such a long, long, long time have been flying and I mean it's it's because it's spread over the best part of two years, isn't it? You, yeah, you haven't had a we, solid I mean where, yeah, COVID, where, where was the last place that we actually went to, you know, a, a proper place? Well, I mean it doesn't really count in terms of distance wise, but I mean the last fly in I did was rough of them. Um I'm just trying to think about the last place that we both went to. Might have, did you fly with me to Stobaris? Yeah. Some bloke didn't take the thing off of my, um, what's it called? It? No names or else. Yeah. I had a bit of fun landing. Yeah. Thank you there, Bravo. Change your frequency. Uh, thanks for your hospitality. I've got a slight problem in that I've uh, left my Pico cover over the ASI, so I'm going to go to somewhere where I've got a nice straight uh, runway, and I'll sort that out. Uh, what's that? And uh, thanks, journey home. Uh, Bravo, Echo Hotel is well clear and changing to safety comp. Thank you very much. Another great day. Next week I sort of escort John into Rainhall Farm and I relearn an important message and it's nothing to do with John's pito colour. I knew I had the speed right but the landing profile that I tend to fly is very different to the, uh, that of the RV so I knew I wasn't really helping John very much. I notice you've overshot. What do you want to do? Well, I'll go around again, try another one, but a bit lower. I'll follow you. Traffic, Gulf Yankee Sierra is joining overhead, 1500 feet. I'll keep out of your way till you're on the ground, John. You might be better off using 09, John, because it's slightly uphill. It'll slow you down better. Will do. Rainhold traffic, Gulf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is final on 27. This is the point at which I should have thrown away this landing. I had been preoccupied trying to help John and not really taken on board what people were saying about the wind change. If you get it wrong the Jodel will float and float and it certainly was. You'll see the wind stop coming through there now and I'm aware of the fact that the road is coming up very quickly. If you watch carefully you'll see that I touch once but then because of the road decide to fly her back over the top of it. Once down the other side, I brake as hard as I possibly can do because I noticed that John's done a teardrop and coming back in at me. Steve, it looks like it's favouring 09 now. It's all over the place, but it's more for 09 and 27. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If you want me to guide you in, John, it's not a problem. I'm to the sort of uh, northwest of rain now. 
got a handle on it, if Tim can move out of the way, I think... Yeah, I'll be clear. While I'm waiting for John to appear, I'm thinking, yeah, I should have known better. the equestrian centre. I'm about to turn. Okay. Point on. Air brake coming down. I'm going to turn pilot aware off at the moment. Not that I need a sterile cockpit, but when you when you're on approach, I don't mind talking, I don't mind pointing out all sorts of weird things, like the car that's in the field where the sheep is. Can you see that? And I was looking at that for a nice uh, sandwich. Right. See, this height in my RV, I'd, I'd land at home, it's country. <laughs> As you say, uh, or as I said earlier on, can you see that they've put the topper across the runway? Yep. Got a baby deer on your right hand yeah, side. Yeah, got a deer right on the right hand side, haven't we? About 30 then up Yeah, as long as it stays that side. Stay that side. There's two of them. Too, too busy looking at the deer. Oh, that's not too bad. They were sunbathing, Yeah, they were. Yeah, definitely. 